Welcome back party people. Today we're back in Lightworks video editor and I'm going to show you a simple method to create a fade to black and back transition effect which can be used to add pause or tension between video clips. <laughs> So let's get to it. So I have my Lightworks application open here. So I will be working in flexible mode in my project space. And that can be changed by going to the system settings menu in the top right corner of the application screen and finding the project layout and selecting flexible. So I've already created my test project. I'm going to enter that project here. You notice that I have two video clips that have been imported to my project space here. They are both 4K 24 frames per second with aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Since these video clips are in 4K, I previously created a media proxy which allows me to work on a lower resolution version in my workspace. And that's going to give me that fluid motion as I move through our video sources. So I'm just going to tidy some things up here and get them arranged on our workspace here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new sequence. All right, so now that I have my sequence created, I'm just going to rename it here to test fade. And I'm going to grab both of the clips and I'm going to pull them down into the sequence editor here. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. I'm going to remove to the left of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut and remove to the right of this clip. Close the gap, get it to the beginning. So we have two different clips here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let this play through for you so you can see the hard cut between these two video clips. And to end our adventure. Oh, don't. Don't see some... All right, so a very hard cut there between the clips you notice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my markers here to mark a section of this video where I wanna create my transition effect. So I'm just gonna eyeball it here just for demonstration purposes and say we want to start there. So I'll click my left marker, which will give me that blue marker on the sequence editor. And then I'll click my right marker. And so this is where my transition is going to lie. Our intent is as video clip one approaches the end, we're going to fade to black. And right at the hard cut, we're going to be solid black. And then we're going to fade back in to our second clip, thereby creating a pause in between these two video clips. So I'm gonna click on the effects button and in my components here, I'm gonna select blend. So I already have blend favorited here. You can see by this star that is highlighted in yellow. So I'm just gonna select that. If you're looking for the uh, category, it's under mix. So all of your transitions are located under the mix category. So I'm just gonna select blend here and you will get a settings that pop up. And so what we're gonna do now is use keyframes to actually mark the sections we want to fade out and fade in. So make sure the video head, the red arrow here is at the beginning. And we're gonna click the clock to start creating our keyframes here. So for the method, leave it in front. And for the foreground opacity, as you can see here, as I drag the opacity down to 0%, we go to black. And as I drag it to 100%, we see our full video clip. So what I'm going to do in the beginning is obviously we want 100%. Now we want the head, the video head to move to our hard cut there. So I'm going to go over to the sequence player here and fast forward to the hard cut. And we're going to add a keyframe here, which fades to 0%. And you can see highlighted down here, we have our keyframe it gets added automatically. And then I'm gonna use our fast forward key on the keyframes here to go to the other marked section of the next clip. And we're gonna drag our foreground opacity back to 100%. And you can see our keyframe that's created here. So the effect we should get now when we grab our video head and scroll through is that we should fade out to black and then fade back into the second video clip. So I'm gonna grab the red playhead here, and you can see we're going through our video, and we hit our blend, and you can see it's starting to darken, and then as we get to our hard cut there, we go to black, and our second clip, we start to fade back out from black into the video clip. 
So if you let this play through, the effect that you get is and to end our adventure. Oh, you can see that uh, cut there. Now, so as we drag the video head through this, you can see the opacity slider changing up here. And as we get to our hard cut there, we're 0%, and then it starts to, then the opacity goes back to 100% in our second video clip. So this is a real simple way to do a video transition where you fade to black and then fade back out into the second video clip. Now you can use this particular method as far as the keyframes for a lot of the transition effects in the mix category. All right, so the second example I'm going to show you is how to fade from one video clip to the other. So instead of fading to black and then back out to the new video clip, we're going to fade directly from one video clip into the other video clip. So I've got two clips here in our, my sequence group editor. I'm just going to close the gap here to get it over to the beginning. You can see that uh, I'm going to cut this part out here. So we're going to have G Money Fishing here. And then I'm going to fade into us walking to the uh, campsite here. Close the gap here. So now you can see we've got G Money Fishing and then we got this hard cut to us walking to the campsite. So what I'm going to do now is create an effect where I actually fade from one of these videos to the other video. So, so I'm going to grab the second clip and I'm going to overlap it a little bit with the first clip. Let's just uh, zoom in a little bit here so you can see this. And I'm going to move the playhead over and do a left mark. And then I'm going to move it to the end of the first video clip and do a right mark. So now we have the section mark that we would like to blend together. So I do the exact same process as before. Click the effects button, add the blend. Now you can see here that, uh, remember we have G Money Fishing and then all of a sudden now we have myself walking here and that's because we added two video tracks and whichever video track is on top is going to take the precedence of the other and i'll show you what i mean All right so if we click on our routing here what we have right now is v1 in the foreground here right so that's going to be the video that's playing and then v2 of g money fishing is in the background so in our settings what we want to do is actually have G Money Fishing fade into us walking to the campsite. So if we take a look at our routing here, what we really want to do is fade the background, right, into the foreground. The easiest way to remedy this since we're using the in front method here is just go to your routing and uh, we're just going to move the background as V2 and the foreground as V1. And if we go back to our settings now and we pull the opacity, we can see that now our fishing scene fades just into our walking scene there. We click on the clock icon to create our keyframes and we fast forward to the end here and go 0% opacity. So now if we drag the playhead through, we can see our fishing scene blend directly into our walking scene there. And so that's how you create a simple transition effect using blend, blending one video clip into the other. And if you wanted to get a slower transition, then obviously you would need the video to overlap just a bit more. And then you could grab your blend and drag that so now you'll have a slower blend transition so you'll start to see the second image come in but the blend is going to take more frames to actually occur so you get this kind of slower blend now we'll let this one play through all right and that is how you create a simple transition effect to blend two video clips one into the other. So just a quick tutorial here. I hope you find this information useful. That's going to wrap this video up. Just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now.